Okay guys, here's an unboxing video of the latest version of the Rai Tour X5 helmets. And uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short and I'm happy if you can fill in the gaps. I just ordered this one in Europe. It was recently released about three weeks ago from Champion Helmets. And uh, I tried the X4 a couple of weeks ago in size medium, found out that it was a little bit too tight on me. And when I went back to the store, the guy told me that, well, you can wait for a while and the X5 will come out. So for that reason, I waited and it's not available in my country yet, but I was able to get it from the Netherlands. And here it is, the X5. Now, most of you have probably searched this a bit and you found out that most of the reviews are in Japanese so far. So we will take a look at this together. And uh, here it says Tour X5 white large, which is one size bigger than the medium I tried on. Now, I could go with the medium, but it was a bit tight. And I tried the large and it seemed to fit me better. But the reason I went for the medium was because I probably tried on one in the store that had been tried by several people. And yeah, it's a, it's a tight fit and it worked somehow. But contemplating a little bit about this, I leaned towards taking the size that Arai suggested. And I have a head size, which is like 59 cent, and 59.60 should be the large. So this is how it came to me from Champion Helmets. Congratulations with your purchase. So in the box, you find this little envelope and it seems to be an instruction book. Well, here are some stickers, some information about the pin lock, Max Vision, anti-fog lens insert instructions. So these details, I will review them later in a separate video. We have the English instruction manual, how to use your helmet properly. Read this before use. It comes in several different languages. So here we have English, Deutsch. Well, you can see it's very little French. This is what's about the English part. Well, there's several chapters in this. And then we have another instruction for use. Read this pocket booklet before use. So all these inserts, probably good to say if you're sending back the helmet and it doesn't fit you. Now this champion helmet that I ordered it from, they said no problem if it doesn't fit you, send it back. But I'm quite confident that this will fit me. And here we have the fog resistant lens clear. This is what you put inside your visor. Now this one can be ordered in different colors as far as I know. I'm not sure about that. It says Arai VS ATX5 Max Vision Visors. And here's clear. Now the big question, what does it look like? So it comes in this neat little bag and it's probably not been opened since it was in Japan. These helmets are made in Japan and we look into what's in there. Some stickers. And here it says head size large size 59 centimeter made in Japan. It's 1650 grams. I've seen that there are lighter versions than this, but this one is actually lighter than my showy helmet. So I think it's right in the midsection in terms of weight among different helmets. So as you can see, I bought the white one and this is it. It doesn't have any air inlet here, which was on the X4. It's all located here. And now it's closed, I think, when it's down and then up, it's open, I guess. It has a significant amount of space in between here so that you can have this sun visor on without having too much of wind resistance. And you could take this part off, making it into somewhat a street helmet. Inside here, sitting next to the, or attached to the, the band, the strap, is a piece of lubricant. The Japanese videos I figured out that this is actually to lubricate the 
visor, well, the visor mechanism on the side here. So it opens up like this. Let's take a look at what it says on the front here. It says two rex five. It's five millimeter more room. I've heard this also as compared to the X4. It's more space between your chin here and the helmet. Easy on off makes it easier to put it on off your head, I guess. Extreme venting, better ventilation system. So we have a front here and we have up here on the top as well. You see, it goes up there and there. And then we have another one up there. Three, two, one. Three, three, two, one. Different settings. And one in the back there. So it's considerable amount of ventilation here. So that's the 3D Array logo duct. Shield, quick and easy. Amazingly quiet, it says. I don't know about the decibel there, but we will probably see more reviews on that in the future. Anteriors is antimicrobial. Remove before use. And then it is, it meets the ECR R2206. Well, that's all for this video. And uh, in the next video, when I read a little bit about the instructions, I will show you how to take off these parts and I will give you some more views on the essential novelties of this helmet as compared to the X4, which maybe you can fill in the benefits and the differences that you can expect from this. Cheers guys.